Face the bucket a lot and then try to beat someone off the dribble. Backdoor pass was picked off and here comes ODU and Finney's taking it all the way. And goaltending on Vaughn. Count the hoops it didn't finish. look like it was going to go in from my angle, but you cannot touch the ball once it hits the glass and that's an automatic two. Ten. Now down to five with Vaughn up top. Now he realizes it, loses it, now gets it stolen and here comes Finney the other way. Misses, but the follow jam is good. But Georgetown must realize too. Bazemore trying to follow. make things happen himself. Inside a tough pass. And Vaughn can't get it to go. And Bazemore clears it for the Monarchs. Up ahead to Lee, who got ahead of everybody. 6-0. Lee does exactly what the offense is set, but they got three fast breaks off of two steals and one with Lee coming down the middle of the floor. ODU is 6-4. and four. This series is tied at 4-4. Four, four. And I, I asked Blaine Taylor before the game, I said, Coach, you want to play it once he gets it, he feels you, he spins off of you. But Lee comes, but Vaughn comes from nowhere to blocking out of there. That's the team defense that Georgetown is going to need. And that's what they've been playing. 12 that's points, here. six rebounds, but shooting a 68% from the field. Finney from long range knocks down the three to make it a 9-3 ODU lead. Lee is going to work extremely hard on them off of his end. Keon Carter has checked in, number 33. Keon and Carter. He knocks it down. Exactly. Keon Carter is very quick. Wayne Taylor. Using a lot of his rotations. Iliadis looks and knocks it in. You can't leave Iliadis open because he will knock down that three. What happened to that particular possession? Long week for them against practicing against each other. So once they settle down and get their things, they get themselves together, they can easily crawl back into this game. But they better not dig themselves deep into a hole. Wright throws that away, the fifth turnover. Three for times and lost it. Here comes Monroe running the break. Monroe gets it blocked by Bases, the CAA, but right now they trail. 14 to 7. Hassell off the glass with an easy layup. A nice pass by Delancey. Delancey also getting into the lane, something that he could do very well. Who is well. checking everybody, including Kent Bazemore with a little denial. Right now, ODU up 16 to 7 in the Before first half of California. Again, yeah, Hollis Thompson is a knockdown shooter. And backcourt on the sloppy turnover by the Hoyles. Not much, but it is in this low scoring affair. Finney with a nice pump fake. Feeney is on fire, and he's feeling himself. A football star in high school, he's caught 19 passes for 272 yards. Another turnover for the Hoyas, their seventh turnover. So it's cold outside right now. It's a little cold inside if you're the Hoyas, throwing the ball away six times. ODU shifts back to their man, and Austin Freeman, the eighth turnover for the Hoyas, and Iliadis is ahead of everybody, reverses it, and knocks it down. And that was an excellent move by Iliadis to use the other, to use the other side of the rim as a shield so no one can block his shot. But Georgetown must take care of the basketball. Here and they're just throwing the ball away like it's a hot Another cake. turnover, 11-point lead, the biggest lead for OB. Lee puts it on the floor, loses it, great tip. Finney with a beautiful tip pass. Excellent tip by Finney, but what ODU is doing, they're out yeah, hustling yeah, Georgia. The clock was winding down, and Finney saw an open, I think it was a Hassel under the basket yeah. for a neat basket. Bazemore kicks it out to Finney, and now Hassel gets the kind roll. The iron is kind for Hassel. Long shot by Finney, who's still feeling it. And, he put and then his, he went yeah, to the ground. Now, no, 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 no. Here comes ODU. Bazemore is running, but Delancey gives it to Carter instead, who knocks it away. And the student section in McDonough gets a little rowdy, and Billy Addis quiets him down. You've got to find where the shooter is tonight, especially Finney. He's firing from all over the floor. He's wagging his finger. He's got his tongue wagging. Carter down, knocking down a three. Billy Addis knocking down a wide open three. George Allen's going to have to find these guys to keep them out of control. Old Dominion, 4 of 11 from distance. Georgetown, Mark, is playing some good defense, as they always do. Georgetown is playing excellent defense in the half-court set. They're helping each other. They're scrambling, trying to get back into the game. But they have to take their time, limit the turnover. As Georgetown starts in a man. Lee might have taken some hops, but instead got the hoop. Lee cannot just that. picking it up. Baysmore, nice move and a great pass to Lee. Excellent screen and roll by Lee and an excellent delivery. A, a real nice move here athletically. This is how you run and pick and roll. And baseball made an excellent pass down to Lee. That could have been a foul. Yeah, right. grabbed him. Yeah. Iliadis, Lee, and Carter wide open. Have to give ODU credit. They're working the ball. Iliadis wide open. Knocks it down. That hurts. When you work so hard here. 
Bazemore, strong hoop. Very athletic move, Bazemore getting to the rim. He's gonna take their time. Coach Taylor is making them work the ball around. And Finney, who's been the hot man, continues to be a thorn in the Hoyas' side. <laughs> I tell you, Finney. Carter ran it down, and James, tough shot over Vaughn. Tough shot by, by James to get Look. to the paint. Hoyas are undefeated this season, 8 and 0, but right now in trouble, and that didn't help. Big time Nine point shot. lead for Old Dominion, but momentum mark right now with the Hoyas. Georgetown is making that run. This is where they need to make that run and try to get some easy buckets. Attack the rim. They end the one and one, and they're doing a good job by capitalizing on ODU turnovers. But they must to get ready. And but a big blow here is Gerald Lee is now fouled out with six points. Where he was reaching in and got lost from behind. That's what James back out to Feeney. Who nice pass into Carter. Jump hook, no, but a nice tip follow. Tip follow by Hassell. Right in the right place at the right time. And that was an ex excellent position for Hassell to be in to tip that basketball in. Slipped in and there was no box out there. Oh, was going to jump at everything. You don't need a three unless this is a wide open three. Monroe was not ready and right threw it out of bounds. And now they have to foul immediately. They're going to have to foul immediately. Go for the steal on the initial play. If you don't get the steal or come up with the steal, you have to foul. Lane Taylor calls a 22nd timeout for ODU and these fans and misses. But only one second left. And history does repeat itself. One month and three years to the day after Georgetown fell to ODU at McDonough, Blaine Taylor's team has done it again. Georgetown loses for the first time this season, 61 to 57. We'll come back, some final stats and some of the highlights on a shockingly cold night and shocking inside here too at McDonough.